a Starbucks run this morning. Decided to play my uh, Plaza free play. I've got 60 bucks a day over three days. Uh, so I put 60 bucks in this game, Golden Century, that we were playing on the group hall last night. Um, and I was playing five bucks a spin on a dollar. I've already got the 60 up to 215 with a really good line hit that hit the, that, that V line all the way across. And now we've got the flag bonus. So I'm always hopeful when it's a dollar game. Let's see. Come on, balls, please. Ah, nines. Yeah, nothing there. Come on, give us a hold and spin. Come on. Now would be amazing. No, I knew it wouldn't. Yeah, oh, V-trigger. Awesome. Awesome. This, yeah, we do. This, this is like, looking more hopeful now. He yeah, keeps giving me small symbols. So 42. God. God, come on, man. Not then. Now, this would be amazing, but it's going to be a blocker, isn't it? Yeah. Killing me, killing me. Now, there's something. Final game. Do it now. Oh no, cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Oh, 57. Anyway, the positive thing is I've got 60 up to 272. So I've relocated from the plaza to Cosmopolitan for one night. We've got a big uh, get together with Hog and Two Cent and many others for a trip to Jesse's Barbecue and Stage Door Casino. We're going in a, a party bus. <laughs> it's going to be a bit like uh, Richard Wilkes' stretch limo, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to come back to Cosmo for Hog and Two Cent's group pool later on, which I think they're live streaming. So I might see you on that later. But uh, no matter how many times you stay in Cosmo, you know, the place might be on lockdown and it didn't take me any time at all to get from Plaza down here because there was little traffic. Um, I mean, if you look at the strip there, look, you know, you've got a couple of cars. I mean, it's, you know, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. You'd expect more than that. You really would. But I'm gonna enjoy the next two nights won 250 bucks this morning which is good um, which you've just seen a bit disappointed with that bonus but um, the overall result 60 free play into 250 cash so it starts the day off well it gives me a bit of uh, room for maneuver so let's see how we get on speak to you in a bit actually the interesting thing is the fountains are actually still running today um, I did wonder whether they would uh, be going or not but I don't know if you can see down there the number of people that are watching them. I'm not sure whether it's that clear, but there's literally, you know, you could get a front row standing spot uh, to watch them, which is uh, not always possible, is it? Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's mega mega quiet down there. And actually, if you look over at um, Paris as well, look at the people walking past Monami Gabi. It's yeah, it's probably 30 people there. And again, normally that's quite a busy little stretch. So yeah, quite interesting. You'll never see this again. Uh, it's certainly unique, if nothing else.
here we are in the uh, party bus, everyone getting on. You'll see everybody as we, uh, as we move on. <laughs> high, roll, high roller transportation. Very cool. So we've got Sin City Nerds, uh, Anastas, Hog and Two Sen, Ace of Vegas, and Kevin and Jen. And Cinnamon over there. <laughs> we even have a stripper pole. Look. <laughs> oh dear, this is insane. This is very much like Richard Wilkes stretch limo, really. Look at it. Insane. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. This is going to be a fun day. So where are we going first, people? Are we going to Jesse's barbecue first? Okay, Jesse's barbecue. <laughs> so we made our first stop on the party bus to the Vegas sign which they've turned green for St. Patrick's Day. Bulbs and all. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And in terms of how busy it is, which will probably, be, you'll be able to gauge how busy Vegas is probably by how busy this is. It's not too bad at all. Um, it's, it's been a lot busier other times I've been here. So, uh, I'm looking forward to St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Um, I hope it's still an event downtown and then it's not a complete washout, but we will see. Cool stuff. So this is where we're eating, Jesse Ray's barbecue, uh, which Hogan Two Cent did a video about actually, and uh, I think the video is actually on their website. Um, comes thoroughly recommended, so uh, I'll be very interested to try this. So this is what we're eating, it's called the Fortress. So what's it got in it again? Come on, Hog. You know. It has ribs, ribs. mac and cheese, pulled pork, Brisket, sausage, waffle fries. Waffle fries. Oh, unreal, unreal. Waffle fries. Oh, there we go. So we got three of these. This should keep us going for a while. I think we're going to yes. be alright. Yeah, we're good. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's very, very nice of you. Thank you. It's fantastic. Look at that. Unreal. <laughs> alright, let's get into it. So we had a lovely meal at Jesse Ray's barbecue. And we've now hit stage door. You may remember me and Ben came in here. Uh, January last year. Cool bar this one, I do like it. So we've just ordered uh, 10 Budweiser's. <laughs> a dollar a piece, so 10 bucks. I mean, does, it, does life get, in, get any better? Seriously, does life get any better than that? 10 bucks for 10 buds. I love it. Happy days. So we left uh, Stage Door Casino, still clutching a one dollar bud. <laughs> and I decided to walk back rather than get a Uber or something. I just wanted to see how busy uh, the casinos were. Obviously Caesars hasn't yet, well at the time I'm recording this, hasn't yet announced that uh, anything's closing. Now this is the walkway from Bally's through to Paris and it's 7 p.m. I mean, you, you would think it was 4 a.m. I mean, just incredible. No one around. So it, you really do find it difficult to think that uh, Caesars won't close as well. So again, I'll be interested to see what the situation is in the casino as we turn the corner here past one of my favourite bars. Yeah, so I can also see here they've got every other machine switched off again. Just like downtown last night. No one at the tables really. Uh, just, yeah, incredible. 
it's quite eerie actually um, and the thing that I um, I mean this this whole situation uh, has changed so drastically from when I got on the plane when I got on the plane you know, I was asked three questions have you been to Iran uh, China or Italy in the last 30 days that was it the answer obviously was no but no one was really what concerned about it on the, uh, the the plane from what I could tell you get here Trump announcement literally within the hour I land and then after the European ban then the UK ban and now closing everything see I mean no hardly any of the bars seem to be open at all anyway so I'm on my way back to Cosmo uh, be interesting to see I've heard in the last hour that that's now closing on Wednesday so uh, I get my night there tonight but it's not going to be open for much longer so be interesting to see how busy that is later I'll catch up with you later take care and here you have it outside 7pm Monday night A smattering of people, literally. So I made it back up to the room. Um, it always sounds actually eerily quiet when you're in the uh, Cosmo because you're so high up. This is the 62nd floor I'm on. Um, and uh, so it always, always sounds a bit like this anyway, but uh, I just know down there, there aren't many people. So yeah, crazy, crazy times. So. But that view is wonderful. And I, I actually like dusk, um, the dusk view, probably better than the nighttime view. I just think it looks so spectacular. So wonderful stuff. So uh, I'm just going to recuperate for an hour or so, then we're going heading downstairs for Hog and Two Cents group pool. A lot of fun today. Um, great food at Jesse uh, Ray's Barbecue. Uh, actually, uh, stage door was pretty busy. <laughs> dollar buds. <laughs> How do they make a profit selling dollar buds? I just don't get that. I mean, we, we bought 20 buds for 20 bucks. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Hope you like. Hope you like this view. I do. I could. I could literally sit here for hours and look at it. I really could. Take care. <laughs> so, uh, hog and two cents. Slot pool is underway. I've had my go. Uh, you can see the result of it on their channel. They're live streaming it. We're doing seven bucks a spin on Moolah. Fingers crossed for a big winner. So on Ultimate Fire Link uh, after Hogan Two Cents Group Pool. So check their channel out for that if you would like to look at it. Um, Ultimate Fire Link. Those are the amounts on offer. 10 cent denomination, $2 a press, got the bonus. Got 100 in down to 88.50. Got a tenner. Here we go. I do like this game. I really do like this game. I don't play it enough actually. There you go. No big numbers there yet. I mean, basically the big numbers tend to be towards the top. I need two more to unlock the next level. Go on, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. Come on, let's keep this going. Let's keep it going, come on. There's a 15 just dropped in up there. Last spin, no. Ah, come on, come on, it's not going to do it. Yeah, it did. Woohoo! Okay, let's keep this going now. Yeah. Come on, two left. Excellent. Yes. Okay, there's an additional 15 there. 
We've got 20 above it. I really would like one of those. I really would. Who wouldn't? There we go. That's a 15. Excellent. So yeah, not a bad little bonus now. It's giving me some game. Come on. Got one. I need one more to unlock the top line. Come on! Ah. Still? That's not a disaster at all. That's decent. So basically, this, I think it's, uh, Cosmo um, tonight is pretty much the only uh, casino with any sort of atmosphere because an awful lot of them around here are closed or certainly winding down and almost closed it's not bad in here tonight there's a few people around 101 bucks i'll take that that's decent this is a game i've never played before monsters return a few people have told me to play it uh over the years uh, it's not that new i don't think a couple of years old um, those are the amounts on offer. Uh, 15 free games, but 100 in down to 48, 16. Only playing 150 a bit because I don't really know this game, so uh, we'll just see how it goes. Here we go. And there's a hold and spin here, which would be nice to get. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, if I'm brutally honest. Bit of Dracula there. I guess you need six of the balls. Come on, more. No. Yeah, fairly unremarkable so far. Bit more Dracula. Five left. Oh, here we go. What's happening now? Here we go. What does that mean? Ah, oh, this looks good. Yeah. So this is some sort of holding spin, clearly. <coughs> it's not adding huge amounts to it. I'm guessing you must go into a holding spin feature after this. Yes, here we go. So I've got okay four spins remaining. Uh, press there, okay, here we go. Let's see what we can get. Yeah. Come on. So it keeps resetting at fours, so that's pretty good. We need some big balls here. <laughs> Three left. Yes, yes, nice. So uh, I don't know what happens if I fill the screen. I don't think you win. Yeah, you need four monsters for the monster bonus. I'm not quite sure what happens if you fill the screen, but uh, hopefully we'll find out. Don't bail out on me. Don't bail out on me. Yeah, it might be. Come on. Hit it. I think that's going to be it, but let's see. Come on. Final for spin. Ah. Okay. So how much? Ah, 
That's not too bad, you know. For a 150 bet, I'll tell you. 45, 10. I've still got a bit left, haven't I? A couple more spins left. So 63, 70, very nice. 12 or 15, so it can happen again, you never know. Yeah, sadly not. Hey, that's good though. I'm happy with that. So yeah, not a bad little game, not a bad little game. Monsters return. on it again I move from the right hand one to the left hand one now this time we've only got the holden spin not the bonus feature but look we got uh, a 23 and a 22 right there so yeah pretty good let's see what we can add to it here we go in this game actually and I do like classic universal monsters always have done decent I'd love to see what happened if you filled it up. Yeah, very nice. Come on, let's do this. Don't bail out on me, come on! Final spin. Ah. <laughs> that last one, it always goes around a few more times. That's still pretty good. About very good, really. For a 150 bet, you can't go too wrong. Not bad at all. Very good. Winner! Good morning everyone from a very quiet and deserted Las Vegas. I thought I'd uh, show this view just one last time before I check out and head back downtown rather than you look at my uh, ugly mug for today's summary. Last night the gambling uh, wasn't great. Um, I lost the money I won in the morning at Plaza, plus an additional 200. And I really have struggled to hit much of any substance again uh, this trip. We've still got, still got one night left, so you never know. But it's my final day, or what I hope will be my final day. Because, let's face it, I think it's now, with everything that's happened in the last week, it would be definitely sensible if I uh, got my ass on that plane and back to London. And frankly, who knows when I'll be back? Um, currently, I have tickets uh, for Morrissey, the opening two nights at Caesars for the end of June. But with everything going on, you just cannot tell, can you? I would imagine by the end of June it should be all right, but um, I don't know, who knows, who knows? But where we've come from, from when I got on the plane to now, is nothing short of absolutely surreal. It really is unbelievable. I mentioned it earlier, so I'm not gonna repeat myself, but you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> absolutely incredible. Before I go today, I just wanted to uh, shout out to 30 very kind people who have supported the channel over the recent months uh, by way of Patreon. Um, I'll put a link uh, below this video should any of you wish to 
help me out. Obviously, being a self-sufficient cab driver these days, the trips don't pay for themselves. Uh, but these guys have really helped me, and I uh, am very appreciative of that. So, Richard Helton, Kim and Matt Trevers, Jules Kazen, Mark Cullum, uh, Josh Langford, Peter Donahoe, Gary Harrison, Jay Patel, Sabrina Webster, uh, Jeff Mahaffey, Philip Hall, uh, David Stevenson, Mike Anderson, Tim Walsh, Bradley Romju, Carrie Thomas, Henry Lantang, Ray Franker, uh, Jack Cr Jackie Crum, Matt Wilson, Anastas, Andy Markow, Daniel Fazio, Janine Johnson, Lydia Wilson, Patricia Martin, Simon Dickinson, Simon Jordan, Steve White and Tyson Hay. So thank you you guys, uh, I really really appreciate your support. Um, there's also channel membership options. Um, if you click the join button below this or any of my videos, I'll give uh, those that have uh, signed up to that a shout out tomorrow. But I'm just about to check out, head back downtown, and tomorrow we'll, I will show you some St. Patrick's Day celebrations. They may be somewhat muted, who knows, but uh, there will be some anyway. Take care of yourselves and stay healthy.